we have some of the best Belmonts on the planet. You know, we have like yeah. the characters you wouldn't see. We have a lot of the unexpected characters you'll ever see. So. Yeah. Nonetheless, this is kind of a matchup that I'm pretty sure the Arrow really understands. It's Wolf versus Link. Uh, we'll honestly, versus, uh, in my opinion, it is pretty even. Even in uh, K9 did uh, beat T at the last. Was it uh, stacked MSM, right? Yeah. Like the MSM after. Uh, the, I'm forgetting the this. difference between Arrow and T in terms of playstyle is like Arrow is very setup heavy and T very, very, very much likes to maximize himself on neutral. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how patient uh, Arrow's gonna play this matchup. He is definitely one of the links that understands the bomb fair loops. And like I mentioned earlier, Arrow sets himself up really nicely there with the bomb play immediately after the down air. That is one thing that Arrow is known for, is more of a setup game. Yeah, the setup game is nice, but he's going to also be careful because you don't want to do anything negative on hit on Wolf because he's going to retaliate with something real hard afterwards. So yeah. he wants to be kind of careful with that. I do like the fact that he does take his time coming back to center stage, understanding, okay, at the neutral here, I have to really watch out yeah. for Wolf. Because if he keeps me at the ledge, I will lose my stock. Yeah, he will, because he needs to be careful. Can I will stay at the ledge and get the f tilt line on him? Nice, get the Nair in. Try still approaching with the Boomerang. The Boomerang will allow the setup to hit Wolf to go for another pair. Does his Boomerang setup works just as good as Young Link and Toon Link? Or? Yeah. It, okay. and honestly, in my opinion, it's probably the best of the three. Oh, I, that's a good parry. No up B out of shield. This is usually yeah. what we might see from Link. I, yeah, because, I mean, there's certain characters, like, his up B out of shield is really good. But then there's certain characters, like, Wolf's going to be careful with because it's like, is that move, like, you never know when it yeah, yeah. has really good frame data, so. Nice, using that double jump. Really he uses the boomerang to kind of clear himself to come back to the yeah. stage. 141 okay, here. Oh, oh, miss input, know. miss input, miss input. Miss input. input. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, they're just playing it through. Can play through it. No stock exchange. Look like a controller disconnected or pro. I don't know. You know, controller arrow plays with? Uh, use game controller. Game controller. Oh, and the extension from the bomb like being out there was not good for him. This where really, this where really you don't want to be versus K9. No. Like down a stock and him racking up damage. But I wouldn't put a bass yeah. arrow to actually still take the stock. Yeah. 152 at this point he's gonna have to set himself with the bomb at the ledge. Wait for the invincibility and he gets the up beat. One thing I do like about K9's play is that he will stick with his game plan. Like if it's working, he's gonna stick with his game plan. That's one thing that like you have to really admire. Oh there you go. Nice nice guy. Oh no! Dropped it too early. That's really, that's a that's a mistake you don't want to make versus a character like a player like K9 versus Wolf. It's gonna be really it's really hard to try to bring this back versus a player like K9. Yeah, and in terms of like things like the bomb fair loops, those are something that requires a lot of technical skill yeah. to be able to master. But it's something that can definitely decide the factor between Link and Wolf at this point. And like I mentioned, dude, K9 is never afraid to keep the same game plan. Like, as you mentioned, yeah. if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah. Oh, he almost let him with that forward air, and that would have cost Kanan some trouble. Yeah, he did, but he's actually... He wants to take this stock out now, because, like, Wolf is no, like... I mean, I don't like to be in, like, that 90% threshold versus Wolf, especially yeah. when he had low percent, because, like, if you hit anything negative on hit, he's kind of kill you. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. It's a setup the arrow goes for, simply because at so this point... So what does the bomb do? Does the bomb, like, cause... Because I've seen him do, like, two bomb setups where he dropped the bomb and then so do, like, a... One thing that Arrow never likes to do is keep the same edge guard as, as usual. He likes to mix it up because Kena was already used to the first one. The next one, he wasn't ready for the ledge jump. And at that point, for him to go for that opportunity, K9 was already said, okay, he might be going for up B when Arrow mixed up in the last second. It's usually allowing him to get a ledge jump and go for the up B, in which it will scoop you up and send you back off the stage. I like that one. That was Quick little cool. fun fact for you guys. K9 actually started as a link lane back in Brawl. Wow. I know he played a, did he play a little bit of Link a little bit at this start of this game? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh okay. unfortunately, kind of bombed himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's Another a, that's one. A, uh, yeah. So the reason why he went for that setup there is because the bomb bounce is something that you can also cover neutral cutups. The wall is something that Arrow can read in general. And then the ledge trump is that if your opponent is hanging at the ledge too long, you can just capitalize on that, especially. Oh, and at that point, the first time that K9 held onto the ledge too long, he just exploded the bomb, or he went for the up beat. So there are different options that Link does have when he has bomb at the ledge. That's making Link a really versatile edge guarder. Yeah, even though uh, Arrow played, like, even though K9 said at low percent, he played good enough to overcome some of his mistakes. Yeah. If he had gone on those bomb jump recoveries, I wouldn't have put it past Arrow to actually make the comeback. Yeah. Down. 
Now I don't know what he's going through. I know K9 is playing. He's getting a little pump. Oh, he got a little cheer up by Curve Flex there. I mean, they're homies, man. They're like brothers at this point. I don't know, bro. I think that little double pal in the back was cold for something. Like, it was like, <laughs> coach, hey, man, watch like, the jump, bro. Like, yeah, two passes, watch the jump. <laughs> two passes, watch the jump. But, <laughs> there you go. Nice. He watches out from the back air, but I mentioned how the LP will scoop you up from the oh, back wow. end. Has to watch the recovery. Oh, oh. there's Spike by K9 taking the stock real early within the first 20 seconds. It's really good call out too because he's yeah. not gonna let Arrow try to make the comeback with his hero spin. But that's something that Arrow should have accounted for. I should have gone oh, for the bomb go. jump instead. Instead of trying to lure my opponent with it. I like Wolf is good on like so many stages in this game, but like I don't like the FD. Another dare spike. The reason why is because if Arrow does go for the reverse hit of Hero Spin, that still leaves you himself pretty vulnerable. And there's a yeah. very high risk, but a really high reward move. It gets your opponent off the stage, it can definitely also like catch your opponent off the guard yeah. if you're trying to go for a ledge guard. Yeah. Yeah. I think I seem to got Arrow out of his game plan. Oh yeah, he uh, does. Was that, oh, I would have liked to reverse. Uh, I think when Kana did, I would think he was going for a reverse back air, but he got a four air. You know that last one, he yeah. could have got the reverse for our back air. Good stuff, like, and that's why like, Town of City is actually a really scary stage for Wolf, because these platforms on the side are really good from the ladder off of it sometimes. So even if you want to take Wolf and Mario away from these stages, those side platforms can extend their combos in depth. 54% yeah. here. Uh, for Link, honestly, a lot of his kill options can start around 60. So that's something that Kanan kind of has to be wary about. Yeah. And he has to, uh, Arrow also has to be careful for like, like, a four, yeah. Oh. That was really good too, because he led him up wow. to go to that platform. And at the on the return, Arrow was right there to capitalize. I don't know about I think he was trying to Z grab it and he got a directional air dodge and that just like put him in the worst spot right there. Yeah. That little mistake there is gonna be very detrimental. Oh he misses the forty. And I mentioned that at sixty percent, those are off those are pretty much percent of level. Um, pretty much almost any midway can actually get killed by Link. You need to be careful with the way he's approaching K9 shield with these nares. Yeah, if he doesn't get well, the, the correct nair, it'll be really, really difficult. It's really good to get, it's really hard to get those bomb setups on characters that have a good boxing game like Wolf. Like the second he hits you, he could just jab you immediately and kind of get out of the snap. Nice, and I like the fact that he's using Boomerang to cover himself coming back to the stage. Train size, he's got to watch out for K9's back at this point. Look at him, ooh, okay, be careful. Mm -hmm. He needs to be careful for an up smash out of shield, I feel like. Yeah. Or F See, like, the bomb is nah. He goes for the setup because he might be trying to set up for a bomb barrel loop, but bomb for, yeah. And like I mentioned, there can definitely be do or die situations. And if Link does get them, it'll oh, okay. separate the game so closely. Forty nine percent to one fifty six. That forward tilt wouldn't have killed, yeah. but it would have given him okay, so much stage control. Stage, yeah. uh, Trade, and unfortunately, oh, wow. even though Link is a heavyweight, it'll be not in his favor. Was that in back air, right? Yeah. 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 Actually, that was forward tilt, and I felt like Kenan went with. I actually didn't see that. Was that back air? Back here, would Nair, would Nair kill at 150? I don't know, because like I mentioned earlier, like Link is a heavyweight, 